Sorry, Isaac. Hello? Sorry about that. Yes. No, go ahead, Isaac. We're sorry. Are you there? Yes, we're here. We're here. Oh, all right. Yeah, so um, as I was saying, because um, uh, it's a very poor country, uh, their coaching skills, they're very poor. Um, uh, even their facilities, they can't uh, take up any other sport to the next level. Um, I was fortunate enough uh, to uh, learn quick as I did in Malawi uh, as an amateur and come up to South African Tennis Pro because I knew that here in Africa, that's the only country that I could, uh, could take me to the next level, I could meet. Uh, I mean, I could meet good trainers, and there's uh, uh, a better competition in the pro that could take me to where I'm heading to right now. Well, thank you, Isaac, for your time. Yes, sir, you're welcome. Thanks. Tim Codgers? Yeah, let me jump in there real quick. Um, Basically, I wanted to touch on there's a there's a big fight going on in South Africa, and I believe March. Chris Van Eerden is going to be defending his IBL welterweight title against Magic Matthew Hatton. Um, it's another another South African fighter versus a British fighter. Maybe there's going to be a rivalry start in there or something. Who knows? But um, my question is, how big is it for South Africa and South Africa boxing to hold the a form of a world title fight in the country? Uh, to be quite honest with you, um, uh, the Hatton name is very huge here back in South Africa. So uh, for Matthew Hatton coming down to South Africa to fight here, yeah, it's big. Like everybody uh, right now can just wait for that fight to happen. So um, it's going to be huge, it's big, and uh, uh, for Chris, the South African, um, he knows that he's got his hands full, and I, I, I'm sure it's going to be a good fight uh, too. Awesome. And all right, that's that's about all I got. Thanks for answering my question. Hey, uh, Michael Boss okay. wanted to jump back in there again. Hey, Isaac, uh, I want to kind of you know reiterate back on the uh, the Tommy Gun issue. You know, we talked about your fight, you know, a little bit. Uh, what do you think yeah. of Tommy Gunn? Uh, you, you know, you said it wasn't a beautiful fight. It, it really wasn't. I mean, it was good. It was two good matched guys. And a lot of times when you have uh, styles that are hard to figure out, you, you, you got a yeah. good guy and a good guy. You get you don't get the best results sometimes. What do you think of him? I mean, he's going to be fighting. He was rumored to fight Adonis Stevenson. He was you know, rumored to fight other guys. They're, they're definitely, you know, clearly, you, you guys are promoted by the same guy in Lou DiBella, right? Yes. I mean, yeah. uh yeah. Uh, and you guys are both looking for world titles. What do you think that his success will be? Um, listen, uh, he he is a strong fighter. He's got a heart. Uh, uh, top of that, he's awkward. He's a softball and uh, he's tall. Um, he, uh, I could say he is the tallest uh, 168 uh, fighter at the moment. So uh, he fights these guys and they always find it hard to reach him. And I can say that what is good to his advantage. Um, talk about where he's heading to. I don't know what he'll, how, how he will perform if he meet the top fighters like Forge, Ward, um, and, and other other of, uh, top contenders in 168. Um, and uh, talk about my fight again against him when I fought him here. Yes, we were both uh, promoted by a some promoter, and to my um, uh, to my belief. He was the favor uh, of their promoter. That's why um, the fight wasn't uh, uh, judged that uh, um, uh, the way it's supposed to be. Um, everybody else uh, in the promotion side, they wanted him to win, and they believe he's going to win. And after uh, uh, I put up a good performance, the only way to get out of it was just to have a draw. So uh, just to make it a draw. So um, to be quite honest, I, I don't know how he could do. I, I would love to see him fight one of the top contenders in 168 and prove it himself as well. But do you think that, you know, you, you were talking about that earlier, you were, you were with the same promoters in South Africa. You know, you are with the same promoters now. <laughs> you guys go into America. You know, do you think that, that that scenario could happen again where, you know, he wins a belt, you win a belt, and guess what? You guys are the same promoter. It's easy to make a fight, and uh, they end up doing it again. Do you think that's a possibility? Uh, um, uh, listen, I, I, don't, I don't know if his team uh, 
Uh, to be quite honest, his promoter back in South Africa, yes, does uh, does work with uh, uh, the promotion I'm working with in America, but um, their way of working together got nothing to do with me. Uh, I'm, I'm a, a loose fighter, 100% loose fighter, while um, uh, Tommy they just uh, got like a partnership with uh, his South African promoter. And um, uh, talk about the rematch, I don't know if his uh, uh, promoter here will be happy to uh, put up uh, um, a rematch because all I've seen since I fought him, they've been like uh, um, uh, protecting, giving some uh, yeah, easy fights, just try to um, uh, try to protect him from uh, um, a big fight. So um, talk about the rematch, I don't know if they will. Uh, I'm, I'm ready for any time, even if they want me to go to 168, I could go down to 168, take him on, but I don't know if that will happen, to be quite honest. Hey, let me stress more on, you know, on Tony Bellew. You know, I've been lo- watching a lot of your fights, Isaac, you know, since you were starting to come up. And I, I, from the moment I seen you, I'm like, man, this kid's got talent. You've got a lot of talent. And do you kind of think, I mean, it, it, it's going to be an eliminator, but do you think that they really have, have – were you kind of shocked when you got that offer to go to England to fight Bellew? Did you think they, these guys don't really know what they're doing? Guess what? I'm going to be a lot tougher than they think. Um, I'll talk about his power. Well, I mean, I'm going to be honest. My pick, I was talking to Frank Stay earlier, the host of the show, and a very, a very live guy, and I think I think you, you have a great chance to win that fight. Uh, I was kind of thinking yeah. to myself, man, what, what are these promoters thinking? This is dangerous, very dangerous for Tony Bellion. Um, I mean, was uh, there any um, negotiation, or did you just take the fight as soon as you heard the fight? Was there even any hesitancy? Uh, listen, uh, all I want is a challenge. Um, uh, I want to fight the best to be the best. So, um, yes, uh, he's, not, he's known as a guy who got power, but you know what? Um, uh, we both got power, we're both fighters, and um, it's about who needs that most, and uh, and I, I need this like uh, like nobody's business. And uh, when I get in there, uh, always to my belief, always uh, a boxer will outpoint the the fighter, the puncher. So I'm going there. I'm going to outsmart him. If a knockout come, I'll take him out. And, and I really don't care about uh, his power or whatever he's got. I'm going there to okay. do my job. Well, you have you've had one knockout in your last five or six fights against Jameson Bostic in in the states. You know, yes. a, a guy like Tony Bell, you, you, know, you don't really have to figure him out. He's coming right at you. He's going to fight. You're going to know where he is at all times. He'll be right there. Yes. Do you do you have any worries about the judging in England? Um, I, I'm I always get to the fight. I don't when I get in the ring. I don't necessarily look for a knockout. I go there uh, to put up a show, uh, entertain my, uh, my fans, and uh, showcase what I'm made of, and um, uh, make sure I, I'll front my opponent. And um, um, looking at this fight, yeah, I know he's going to come very aggressive. He's going to come to uh, uh, try to knock me out, and that, that won't happen. Thanks, Isaac. Appreciate it. Yes, hey, Isaac, uh, one quick question. Uh, you are going for the WBC light heavyweight uh, title, but who who do you really want? I mean, do you want Hopkins, Trout? I mean, who do you want at 175? Maybe Dawson, Pascal? What, are the, what, are, what is that one guy that you want, that you want to get in the ring with? Um, I, I want them all. I want all the guys who are above me. Uh, I, want, I want Chad. I want Pascal. I want uh, uh, Cloud. Um, I'm not so mad about Hopkins. He's my hero. He's old. I don't know if uh, after this fight, I don't know if you can fight, but you know what? If he's still in the way, I, I would love to step in and against him as well. Uh, all my, um, my goal right now is to defeat all the best in 175, and I'll be, um, uh, I'll be the one. I'll be the, the only one champion who uh, uh, defeat all the champions in this division. All right, that's awesome. Thank you. Isaac, one more thing before we let you go. If you can, for us, for you know, we have a huge uh, British and United Kingdom as well as South Africa fan base here. If you can, can you send a message to Tony Bellew? 
So yeah, um, um, I'm, I'm up a, a, I'm a, up a, a, a big um, a big fight for uh, uh, I'm up to put up the, uh, the performance of my life, and I'm preparing very well. Um, uh, uh, push up our um, uh, training level to the next level, and I hope Tony uh, he's doing the same. Because um, uh, I know he's gonna be in his hometown. He's gonna have everybody behind him. But uh, first of all, that doesn't affect me, and I hope, I really hope, that uh, he'll be ready for my challenge. And Isaac, I'll tell you this, man. We wish you, you know, all the best. I'm, you know, I'm a big fan of what you do inside that ring, and I can't wait to see this fight. Mike Doss mentioned it. Uh, we can't wait to yeah, see you in the ring, the 30th of March. You're going to Liverpool, you and Tony Bell, you, uh, two of the best light heavyweights in the world, and uh, we wish you all the best on that date, and we wish you all the best in training camp leading up to the fight, champ. No, thanks a lot. I hey, God, God bless you, and, uh, and, and take care. We hope to have you back on the show again sometime soon. Oh, yeah, yeah sure, sure, anytime. Thanks, Isaac. There you go, Golden Boy, yeah. Isaac Chalemba. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, champ. Have a great night. Thanks a lot. Great to you, it's our pleasure. I have, thank you. All right, there you have it. Isaac Chalembe, all the way from Johannesburg, South Africa, joining us today. Um, and uh, what are we going to go into?